We're going to move on to the next feature of the Rodecaster Pro 2, and those are the smart pads. The smart pads are these large buttons that are on the side of the unit. Now, these same eight buttons exist on the previous Rodecaster, the first Rodecaster Pro. Uh, however, they've now introduced two new buttons at the bottom here. These buttons are page buttons. So you can see here on the top right area, you can see that I'm on a current page where I have different sound effects. So if I go ahead and click this button here, you can see that it plays over on that display section here. Now, if I go ahead and hit this page, now you can see I'm on page two and these are sound effect buttons. And these sound effect buttons are what alters what is happening inside of that input itself. So right now I'm on a microphone channel and you can see in this picture here, you can see here that I've got, let's say for example, I've got this voice disguise. So if I go ahead and, and hit the voice disguise button, you're now gonna hear my voice, it's completely changed. Um, so I could be an anonymous person and you won't know who I am, so I'm just gonna blur out my face or just turn it to a backlight and it's all black. I'm just, I'm just a silhouette, essentially is what it is. Now, you can go ahead and turn that on and off as you need. Um, and that's essentially, you can now make that on all of your channels or just some channels. And so there are some advanced features now that we would go through in order to be able to change that. So for example, let's say that I had uh, four different podcasters, right? So I've got myself, uh, a, a guest on input two, three, and then four. So I'd have four physical faders working on each of their microphones, right? But let's just say that guest number four, no, let's just use this number one because I'm on number one. Let's just say that guest number one uh, was to be an anonymous individual. So I don't want everybody's voice to sound like this. I just want channel one to sound like that. So that's where I would go into the settings here, dive a little bit deeper, and I'm gonna go into the uh, actual voice disguise button there. I'm gonna click on voice disguise, and you can see that I can change the color of the button, I can rename it, I can edit, or I can completely erase that button. However, I wanna go to edit. Now, this is unfortunately, it's <laughs> by default, when you go through edit mode, it starts and enables the button. But what happens here, you can see it's enabled on two, three, and four, but if I just leave it now on one, you can see that voice one will be the only one that has enabled with voice disguise. Now I can go ahead with the master switch and turn that on or off because that's kind of annoying right now. Um, and so every time I enable it, now only voice channel one will have that effect on it. Uh, so let's make sure I turn that off. All right, so that's now off. Sorry about that. Um, so that's how you would essentially alter any of the different uh, voice effects inside of the Rodecaster Pro 2 using this. So you can also see here on the right side, this is pitch up. So if I go ahead and enable pitch up, my voice all of a sudden goes really high. Uh, I don't know who's going to use these voice uh, effects, but they're there and you can go ahead and alter that if you want to. Uh, you can see here the next one is a megaphone. So it sounds like I'm using a megaphone. So I guess if you're doing podcasts and you want to sound kind of funny or neat or whatever, you can just say, hey, welcome to the shout out broadcast or let's hey, welcome to the shout out podcast. This is Daniel and welcome to the show. If you want to do stuff like that, uh, then we've got, got the mon monster voice. It kind of sounds like voice disguise, but this is more like a monster. I can be like a demon. Um, uh, then we've got, let's see here, large robot, small robot. Then on the bottom right, we've got ducking. Now, ducking, this essentially uh, is where your one channel will override the other channels. So for example, if you've got one, two, three, and four speakers, then let's say you add ducking to channel one, then two, three, and four will, whenever what number one speaker is speaking, two, three, and four will lower their volume automatically on the Roadcaster Pro 2. So that's what the ducking feature is. And then let's go over to the sensor because the sensor is probably, <laughs> I could definitely see a lot of people using this one because when I click on this, it all of a sudden, totally absolutely mutes my voice while playing that signal out. Uh, the previous Rodecaster Pro, the first version of it, you could make a sensor button, but it would never really mute your channel. 
And that was one of the interesting things. So this actual Rodecaster Pro 2 does that properly now. Now let's go back to the sound pads and let's go to the sound effects themselves. So again, these sound effects are configurable on any one of these eight pads and you can have extra pages. So you can just click on this button at the bottom here and you can uh, change the pagination, right? So page one, two, and three, and you have multiple pages that you can uh, configure. Now on the screen itself, you can see which sound effect is there. So we've got the air horn. I've got the record scratch, chimes, rim shot, trombone, crickets, applause. Those are the default sound effects. And then the sensor button is there as well. Now I can go in and configure each and every one of these uh, sound effects um, to act differently when I press that button. So there's different features and functions of these buttons. So you can either press it and then it plays the audio, but if you press it again, it'll stop and then replay the audio. So it's kind of like, the air horn, right? So I can punch it many times and it starts at the beginning, starts at the beginning wherever I am pressing that button, even if it's in the middle of that audio. Uh, then there are the different sound effects where uh, I can go ahead. And play by pressing it and then stop so you can hear. I didn't let the whole sound effect go through, right? I can let it go through, or if I wanna stop it, I can press that. So you can use that for things like uh, longer sound effects or uh, laugh tracks or things like that, where you can you know, abruptly start and stop that laugh track itself. Um, and so you, what you do is you will go in, so let's example, let's go into the air horn setting here. And inside the air horn setting, I can change it to make it a one shot, or I could uh, toggle it, right? Or I can hold it. So I can, it'll only play when I hold it, as an example. So if I go here, and then if I go ahead and press this button, it only plays if I'm holding the button down. Okay, so you can, you can go ahead and, again, edit that so that it's uh, either one shot or toggle in out. So what that does is, I have to press it a second time in order to stop that audio. So it depends upon the kind of audio that you're importing into your Rodecaster Pro. You may want to have it as a one shot, a toggle, or a hold. Now, if you, you can see here, when you toggle it, you can have the loop on or off. So here, I'm going to play this one, and the loop basically plays it again. That's kind of annoying. Sorry for that sound effect. <laughs> and you can play, recontinue, and stuff like that. So anyway, these are the different sound effects that you can have here. Now, if I really don't want that air horn here, you can go ahead and import uh, other audio tracks to your Rodecaster Pro 2 um, using the Road Connect software from your computer system, either Windows or Mac. Or you can add it uh, separately by recording it directly onto your Rodecaster Pro 2. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's, let's, let's replace this air horn sound effect here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the air horn uh, button there on the screen and I'm going to go ahead and hit edit. Now you can see here I have this ability for me to go ahead and record. Now if I just hit play, it allows, oh, I just have to let that go through. It allows me to listen to what I've got there. Now if I want to go ahead and record something else, recording new sound will overwrite this, your current loaded sound. Actually, you know what, maybe I want that one. Let me, let me create a new page here. Okay, so I can go to a new page, I can go ahead and add, and I want to add a sound, and I'm going to hit record. Hey, this is Daniel. Welcome to the show. And you can see here, hey, this is Daniel. Welcome to the show. So whenever I press this button, it will play hey, this, this track. Hey, this is Daniel. Welcome to the show. However, I waited quite a while, as you can see, before I actually started speaking. So I can go ahead and trim this beginning right off and I can trim the end off. And that's by touching the bottom a, a section. So I can just go ahead and now hit play. Hey, this is Daniel, welcome to the show. So you can see here, it automatically starts right after I hit my button. Hey, this is Daniel, welcome to the show. Okay, now if I want to add a fade, I can go ahead and hit the top 
sections here. So it'll fade in and then fade out, right? Hey, this is Daniel. Welcome to the show. You can hear that it went up and then down. So that is another feature that allows you to, again, adjust and edit the audio uh, sound that you're looking for. So that could be a live sound. Um, it could be many different things. So you just think about how you want that sound to go and then how you want to trigger it, right? So now that I've got this, I don't want that uh, fade in, fade out. So now that I've got this sound, like do I want it to be in and out or do I want it to be a one shot? Or, you know, so for example, if I do a one shot and I go ahead here, hey, this, hey, hey, right? I can play that or let me just see, not, I don't want, I want one shot. Hey, 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 this, hey, hey, this, hey, hey, this is Daniel. Welcome to the show. All right, so I can just play around and goof around with different types of audios from there. So go ahead and create little tidbits. You can either record it directly, as I said, to the Roycaster Pro 2. Let's say, for example, that was an instrument, right? Let's say I want to create a little jingle and I've got a keyboard, right, that's connected to the Roycaster Pro 2. I can go ahead and connect my keyboard, hit record, play the little jingle on my keyboard and then hit stop and then trim the beginning and the end off so that it could be a new um, intro for my podcast or my, you know, my vodcast, right? So you can go ahead and add that type of sound in custom sound. And if you want to delete it, you just go ahead and cl hit clear and it is gone. If you want to create uh, new effects, right, on new buttons, so the voice effects, uh, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to add them manually and configure them according. So uh, you can see here, I'm on page three, it is empty here, and I'm just going to hit that one, hit plus, and I want a sound effect, right? So we've got different sound effects that are available. You can see here we've got, um, we've got you know, robots, small, medium, and large. We now, uh, let's see, I'm going to turn that off. Um, you've got the disguise, right, which is what we showed earlier, and then we have pitch shift. This is another interesting one. So if I, let's say, just wanted to increase my vocal tone a little bit. I can go ahead and turn that on. And again, these top buttons here tells which channel to put it on. And then I can say, uh, oh, by the way. Course and then fine. Course, if you look at this, uh, course allows you to add by full numbers. So it's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? So if I go ahead here and then I decrease it by a little bit, I can just have it a little bit, you know, one full semitone above. Um, or I can go into micro or fine adjustments and now I can go into the decimal places here. So if you, uh, you know, have any changes that you want to do either big or small, then you can go ahead and move that to either course or. Now let's say it's not something that you want to do in terms of a pitch shift, but um, you wanted to add some other reverb or echo, things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead. Really low as well. Um, or you can go ahead here. Now this is the reverb, right? So this sounds like I'm in a hall or a bathroom and I can go ahead and sing. Now you can go ahead and change the levels here so you can increase and decrease. So by clicking that and then changing the rotary encoder, you can make it sound like I'm in a bigger hall, right? Um, you can low cut and the high cut. So this is basically changing the, uh, the, the sensitivity on the low and the high band. Um, and then you can basically just turn, turn this. It's a really big hall, or you can go really small room and go to a large room. So that's some features here if you want to enable those. This one here is the echo. So let's go here, turn that guy off. Now, this is the echo. This, this is, 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 is the, the echo. echo. So if you so want to make, make some, some, some 80s, 80s psychedelic, psychedelic band, band music, music, you can go ahead, go ahead and <laughs> play with play this with feature this here. here. So, so you can, you, you can see here the green, green button, button, so the rotary encoder is now going to um, change this level here, right? I can go all the way up. Right, change, change those, those things. things, you can change, change the, delay, the delay, right? right? So, so it's, it's now, now faster delay, 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 or you can, or you can, or you can, or you can, or you can so depending so upon what you can do, you do, and the DK is how fast it goes away. You can say it goes, 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 and stays long, or it goes away real quickly, right? So go ahead and play with those features here. Let's see, that's off. And then this one's the megaphone feature, so you can go ahead and hit power, and you can say it's either a really small megaphone or a 
long, big megaphone, right? So you can go ahead and change that there. But I'm I'm going to disable these because I don't really want them. Um, and that's pretty much it. So that's how you're going to add your different uh, voice effects into any of the buttons on the smart pads. Did you know that you could have had access to this entire Roadcaster Pro 2 series first, like a month ago, but you missed out because you weren't on my streaming platform called Nebula. And it's not just me, it is all my creator friends. We are putting an amazing amount of content on Nebula. Let me show you. You can see all the latest videos from all the creators on this platform. Hey, look, Epos Box! And you get original content that isn't even uploaded to YouTube from your favorite creators. You've got Nebula first, extended versions, maybe bloopers or extra additional information that you don't get on YouTube. Nebula first, things that are exclusive, early access on this platform. There's so much great stuff here. And here's the cool thing. Usually Nebula is $50, but with my exclusive link, it actually goes down to $333 a month for you. So you can find that link in the description.